Hey everybody, it's your boy Zero here for another Gunplaw review. In today's episode, we're going to uncover the Gondalva from Gundam the Witch from Mercury. So the next couple of episodes are going to be very Halloween-esque. Like, the Gondalvas are basically familiars, because they're... They can be piloted, or they're mindless drones, piloted by the re Aerial Rebuild and her little squad, so... They're kind of like Witch's familiars in that logic. Then after this, it'll be the high-grade Barbatos Lupus Rex, you know... Devil, Halloween, kind of fits. And then next Sunday will be the Caliburn again, which Halloween kind of fits the motif. But in fact, this was not originally planned. It's kind of how everything lined up. <laughs> so I'm really happy that, that that's how it kind of lined up. But yeah, I got this dude at our with Beth from our friends from Galactic Toys. So if you want one of these really awesome grunt kits, this is not like my tied for number one favorite grunt kit, like, ever. So if you want one for yourself, uh, use my link down below, and yeah, let's get into the review. Okay, so this is the Gondolva with everything that comes in box. It comes with two beam effects, one as you can clearly see it's in the beam saber, sheet of stickers, I want to say this again until my mouth turns blue, I wish they didn't have the, the activated mode be a sticker. I'm tired of it being stickers. You got one shell unit ever that's ever been molded in plastic, and that is the Ariel, the first one. And the Bandai Premium version of it. That was it. Everything else is a sticker. I don't know about the full mechanics version, but I can say this with all honesty for the high grades. If you have a shell unit and it's not the Ariel, it's a sticker. Oop. Okay. Modesting the rage inducingness of the stickers. I only used all I use all but one because this is just the shell unit not activated mode. Everything else is just the shell unit activated, uh the eyes, the camera on top of its head, the shell unit, the scope for the gun. So Yeah. So let's get into the articulations. As you see, hands on the ball joint. Traditional. That's the arm bend. Not great, but not bad. Arm all the way out. Not great, but you do get great rotation. Look at that. You can pull it out even a little bit farther to give it more rotation. Which is awesome. Looks like you can Don't try to go for the dislocated arm look because you will pop it out of its socket, so. But all in all, not a great not a bad rotation for the arm. <laughs> Back of the hand of and that's gone into the void. Wonderful. So, let me go find that piece before I continue this review. Okay, I'm back. And I found the piece. So, it did not fall completely into the void. The shield is plugged in here, through this part here. So, I'm going to assume if you have ports this big on other mobile suits, you can definitely use this shield on other things. The beam sabers are located here and here, next to the other one. So, you do have those options. Back to the articulation. So that skirt gets moved out of the way. So oop, let's do both of them so we can just do the splits real quick. Not bad. You can get pretty solid splits out of this. Oop. Kick all the way up. Not bad. Good knee bend. I hate the exposed part like this. I'm sorry. It's annoying. And it does have tiny little feet. And the back parts of the heel are tight. So that it's hard to move them when you're trying to pose it. Which in turn causes it to be... The nice way I put it, unsteady. Watch. That's literally just me putting it down. Also, be careful with the front part of the shoe. Or foot, if you will. This is... You have to make sure it's pushed all the way in. Because if it's not, it will pop off. A second thing, the head. Mm, pop that off. See this joint right here? It's good, but if you pull too much on the head, if you're trying to angle it or pose it, you can actually pop this piece out of joint, and then you have a floppy head, so be careful with that. B60. Awesome. 
up, down. You really can't get a great neck bend out of it, but, you know, you make do. Look at that ab crunch. Nice and solid. As you see, this is the beam carbine. On this side, it looks nice, you know. It's two pieces and a sticker. But then you turn it around, and then you see the cartridge has this little tag here. I have no idea what that is for. It's not like you can attach to your belt or anything like that. It's that that piece of the cartridge just looks like that. It's rather annoying. And to get the gun in the hand, it's a sandwich system. You know, open up the back of the hand, put the gun in, close it back up. Nothing special. Then we have the beam saber, which just slides right in. Nothing too fancy with that. We only have the two holding hands, so... No dynamic hands. So far, I've noticed there's only one set that has the dynamic hands in it, and that's the Mirror Soul set, which is kind of annoying. And I think and I think the Farak had one, but I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head. But yeah, up. Oh, and then, of course, as you saw before, side skirt goes up, side skirt goes down. The backpack can move up, down. There you go, not too fancy. Though I do feel like having the verniers this close to the back of the legs is kind of a dangerous idea. Because if someone shoots these, you're going to go either flying, spiraling out of control, or you're not going to have a lot of thrust forward, other than the backpack. But, you know, I'm not an engineer, what can I tell you? As you can see, if everything is done correctly or the best you can do, this is a very solid kit. But again, be careful with the head joint, the front of the feet, and of course, when you get it, stand it up, make sure you have it nice and balanced because if you don't, it will either lean back or fall on its face. <laughs> If you try to get it completely down flat, it either, like I said, tip forward, tip backwards, as you just saw. I was just trying to even out the feet. Yeah. It's Honestly, I think it's because the feet is too small, but that's just me. Yeah. See what I mean? No sense of balance. So, let's get to the summary and wrap up the review. Okay, would I recommend the Gundalva? Yes, I would recommend this if you like grunt suits, you like the Witch for Mercury, you like Gundam adjacent mobile suits. They're not fully like, they're like the Jim Custom, the Jim Custom 2. They're not a cent, they're not the granddaddy Gundam, but they're discount Gundams. <laughs> they're close enough in design and appearance to be, from far away you can tell, think it's a Gundam, but it's not, but it's still kind of cool looking though. This is what this is, and you can't tell me otherwise. With that being said, it does have flaws. The tiny feet really give it balance issues. You have to be careful with the head because if it you're not if it's not tightly pushed against the back of the neck, it will be if you move the head too much, the little neck joint will pop out and it'll be bobbing around. The articulation isn't as good as say the other members of the Witch from Mercury crew, but it's not bad. It's a solid kit, 99.9% .9 of the time, so it's decent. I can totally see someone customizing this to make a, a new version of it or a unique Gundam from it. Because honestly, I prefer this chest cavity over the aerials. And the frac, because that is just awful looking to me. Cool Gundam, but awful looking chest cavity. But with that being said... I want to thank everybody for watching, and like I said in the beginning of the episode, Friday's episode will either be the Barbatos Lupus Rex or the Barbatos Lupus. I haven't decided which one, depending on which one I'll grab later. And then next Sunday, next Sunday or Monday, depending on when the episode goes live, will be the Caliber. So, yeah, I want to thank everybody for watching, and.
If you want to support the channel, please use the links down below. If you want to order something from Galactic Toys, please remember the link is good for 24 hours, so click the link and buy something. Uh, I believe the Entertainment Earth one, if you don't feel like getting a model or stuff like that, if you just want more action figures or statues and stuff like that, Entertainment Earth is just as good, so you can use that link. I believe that's for 48 hours. I'm not 100% sure. But with that being said, uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And honestly, yeah, this is, has to go up with my favorite grunt suit. Well, I don't have them anymore because I smashed them together to make a custom build. As I dubbed it, The Knight. The Black Knight or the Knight suit, which is the two grunt suits from the eight from Gundam Age. But I have to be honest, the frack is the frack. The Gondolva is really up there when it comes to interesting looking suits. Mm, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna try to mess with this right now because I'm afraid that my, one of my other custom builds will just fall on top of it. So I'm just gonna leave that, leave this here for now, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.